Hi, my name is Justin Calvale with Engineering Pro Guides, and this is another FE mechanical exam video on probability and statistics, where there are four to six problems on the total 110 problems on the FE mechanical exam. This is part four of the probability and statistics series, and we're focusing on regression and curve fitting. So regression analysis is just a, a technique of creating a mathematical formula that can describe the relationship between two or more measured variables. And on the FE exam, um, curve fitting will serve the same purpose as the regression analysis. Uh, in practice and in school, curve fitting, regression analysis is done through the use of a computer software program like Excel or MATLAB. And um, therefore, it is highly unlikely that you'll be asked to do a curve fitting analysis on a data set by hand or with the simple calculator that is allowed in the FE mechanical exam. However, you should know how to interpret the data after um, it's inputted into a program. So in, in a typical software program, you will have the opportunity to choose the type of curve fit. You can choose a linear fit, square fit, or any series of polynomials to fit the data points. And the equations are shown here. Ultimately, you be for each um, analysis or fit, you will be solving for the variables a, b, c, and d for the cubed fit. So, also the software program will then output an r squared value, and this is the coefficient of determination, and it describes the fit of the curve as compared to the data points. This will also be discussed. So, the goodness of fit is. Um, shown by the r squared value and so after you input the data into your software program and it outputs your um, your curve it will also give you an um, along with the equation for the curve it will give you the r squared value on the fe exam in the fe reference handbook there are um, equations shown for calculating the r squared value for only a linear fit uh, the other fits are going to be much more difficult to solve for. And even this, uh, these sets of equations will be pretty difficult and time consuming to solve for in the FE exam. But, um, so they won't be covered too much in this video. So, like I previously stated, that all other fits on the FE exam, they're going to have to give you the R squared value or they're going to have to give you, you know, the equation. The fit equation because it's just going to be too time consuming to solve for those things. And you can use some of the equations within the uh, FE reference handbook to you know, solve for um, other variables, but again, it's highly unlikely. So, why is it unlikely? Um, I went through an analysis of all the different outlines and under probability and statistics, FE Mechanical has one of the lowest problem counts, and it also has you know, the lowest amount of subtopics in there. So just to show an example between the FE Mechanical and the FE Industrial. So on the left, we have the Mechanical Engineering, Probability and Statistics. There are only three to five problems, and there are only two topics that are covered, probability distributions and regression and curve fitting. And in my opinion, it is more likely and easier to test probability distributions. And so a lot of the uh, videos and the stuff on Engineering Pro Guides focuses on making sure you can use the probability distributions tables really quickly and efficiently. Uh, on the other hand, the FE Industrial Engineering uh, exam has 10 to 15 problems and it has m many, many more topics like uh, the combinations, permutations, uh, explicitly calls out normal binomial empirical distribution tables. Uh, there are conditional probabilities, more with the sample, sampling estimation, and also specifically calls out linear regression and multiple uh, regression analysis. So, um, in, in my opinion, and for Engineering Pro Guides, um, we should we're trying to focus more on probability distributions. And so there's not too much on regression and curve fitting in our videos. Uh, 
So that's the end of this part on regression and curve fitting. Uh, we're going to cover practice problems in the next uh, to finish up this series on probability and statistics.